expressway, I'm at 17th and Vine. And yesterday when I said, here we are, you see where that guy is walking? That's where the water was at yesterday. The water was, it was deeper than this barrier. And it was all the way down this expressway. The, it looks like they got a lot of it up. I'm going to scoot down a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to scoot the whole parkway to see how much they cleaned up. Yeah. Uh, dead rat. I've been seeing a lot of dead, uh, not a lot. I saw like seven or eight dead vermin rodents. So uh, I, I really regret my decision of walking in this shit barefoot yesterday. So that's, that's good. But if you go all the way down, it looks pretty dry. They, they made, I can't believe they got, this, it was, the water was so high. There, it looks like the water was up to where that uh, drain, that, that hose nozzle right there in the, right there. Uh, that's how deep the water was. So that looks like it was about three and a half, four feet deep. Um, crews are vacuuming up, cleaning up this uh, section, get rid of a lot of debris. Horrible. But uh, look at this. Just sitting. Oh, that's crazy, right? It just it rested there. Kicking dust up in my face. There they go, sweeping up. And uh, yesterday we couldn't even see the barrier in the middle. Uh, it looks like it's pretty steep. Right there, where it's, it's kind of, you know, where you can't see the barrier that much. I guess that would make sense. This is 19th and Vine. Uh, at the end of that tunnel, it seems pretty dry. It's just... I was in this section yesterday, you know, I put up a before picture so you could see what it was and what it is now. Pretty remarkable that they were able to do that in such quick, such a quick amount of time. He's a gentleman. I don't know if Channel 6 is going to report this. I don't know. But you're going to get it here on the Philly Captain. The log. The log that has been atop the Fairmount Dam for generations is gone. Yesterday when I was here, the water was uh, up to this step. And you see, that's about... Mm, that's over. That's like eight feet. And if you see the river, it's usually about that high, maybe a little bit higher. Oh. Could this be the famed log? There was a log. Wow. Yesterday, everything on this downward slope was covered in water. You can see the uh, mud. Uh, the water was all the way up to here. And I got, I got a picture of the water from me. And the way I had to get here to take the picture is I had to walk that ledge to get down. Um, there is, you gotta see the debris on this bridge. Uh, yesterday the water was was higher than where those that cement is. That's the uh, Vine Street Expressway pumping. 
And uh, I don't know if you see below that. There is like a massive structure that collided. It looks like a big, like a big storage container. I don't know what that could be, but the water's pouring out quickly. You can see the debris goes up to that one step right there. That's how high it was. That's over halfway. This is the Fairmount Boardwalk. Uh, these tables were underwater. The biggest story of this entire flood is the log from the Fairmount Dam is gone. steps and uh, they have a, a jet ski and you can see all the the erosion goes all the way up here if you see this railing these steps go down here people go fishing. It's just a lot of debris. It's a lot of debris. These benches are part of that park. All right, so yesterday this trail was underwater. You can see where the debris stops. Look at that. Fantastic. It is. It's, I can't believe things are back to normal this quickly. There he is. This is Sedgley and Kelly Drive. Uh, this road was blocked off yesterday. The, the uh, bike store here was closed. This bike was underwater yesterday. It seems like it's going to be okay back here. This area was flooded. This is a great way to see how deep the water was. It was, the water was here. The water was all the way up to this building. This is where it's at today. I am on uh, Boathouse Row. Teams have their uh, boats. Drying out. This was underwater yesterday. Luckily, it doesn't look like there's much in there. And this smells just like my uh, uncle's garage. <laughs> 20, uh, 20, uh, when I made my video uh, yesterday documenting how Boathouse Row looked, the water came up to these doors. You can see, we're up to here. So where these cars are turning? 
This is completely submerged. Here's a uh, boat dock. Back of a boat. Yesterday, you, you, could, you could walk to about here. And the water was, it was pretty, the current right here was pretty strong. Dumpster. There it is. This is for a wood post fence. I don't know where they have wood post fence around here. Mostly it's a metal railing. If you think about how much water was inside these buildings, that's not that much trash in the grand scheme of things. Yesterday when I was here, I didn't even know this sec the second bench existed. That's it, that's my update on what I saw here on Boathouse Row and the rest of Philadelphia, the Vine Street Expressway and the Art Museum. But this is what I saw 24 hours later. Well, if you like this video, do me a favor, hit the thumbs up and while you're at it, hit subscribe. Don't forget to check out my merch, my merch is fire. And if you really wanna help me out, there's a link below in every video to my Patreon. What are you doing Sunday morning? Want to join me for a cup of coffee? Click that join button and I go live every Sunday morning to have a cup of coffee. Well, make sure you hit like and subscribe and I'll sail with you later. How did they not lose their trash cans? Toodles! I will remember you. Will